Hello there, my good friends of YouTube. Well, today, guys, I'm uh, messing around with a 125, no, it's 150 kV, 150 kV X ray transformer made by Cro Program US. I'll show you. There's the label just there 150 kV, and that's a thousand milliamps at 100 kilowatts. How insane is that? Pretty good stuff. And uh, what it is, guys, I've not actually, I've not tampered with this unit at all. All I've done is cleaned it up and uh, connected it up. You can see the connections how I've wired it up, basically parallel. Uh, when you just connect those two up, it's not quite as powerful. So when you connect all four up, it's uh, it's pretty good. I'm a bit close to my variac here, but uh, of course, if it wants to go anywhere, it's just going to go straight across there. Um, you can just see that there, look. It's just going to go straight across there if it wants to go anywhere. Or from there to there. So as long as I keep uh, my arm away from it, I'll, uh, I'll be fine. At the end of the day, it's my... It's my... Uh, you know, if I get shocked, it's my fault. But, using the IGBT half bridge, still not done the full bridge, still messing around, never got time. Uh, there you go, guys. Have a quick push it around that. It's all good stuff. For those who have not watched it before, that's the rectifier into those capacitors, straight into these capacitors, into the IGBT. IGBT is called from the pulse width into the uh, um, oh, freaking hell, flip flop into those two just there, the optocouplers and then straight into the IGBT and the optocouplers and are controlled by these two 15 volt DC to DC uh, transformers, power supplies, inverters should I say and they go straight into those two optocouplers just there and this flip flop here is controlled by a 9 volt battery and the pulse width and I've got a very large squirrel case fan just here cooling the RGBT down I did use uh, some server fans but they're too bloody noisy so anyway <coughs> let me stick you on the tripod oh yeah that's all done now that's now 75 kV not 35 kV and it's absolutely beautiful there's the head vacuum I vacuumed it and as well as heated up the oil to uh, quite a nice high temperature it was hot enough that I didn't want to touch it put it that way and uh, I left it on vacuum for about 12 hours and she's beautiful nice little window I made there has to be done all right yep capacitor's been stripped down it's leaking oil so that's going to be another thing I have to do another project all right guys the output from this is really nice you get like a um, like a spark, like a capacitance output, and then once you join them both together, you get quite a nice um, arc, and it sounds pretty cool. Let's just make sure that you can see me over here. Yeah, cool. Right, here we go. Sounds like you're uh, doing a flyback on the back of a CRT. Now listen to this. I think we need some more. There you go, see? Doesn't that sound wicked? The corona off these two spark gaps just here is pretty cool. Hold on. Let's just widen this up a little bit. So I can turn it up.
That was pretty insane, wasn't it, guys? I bet it was loud. Oh, yeah, guys, turn your uh, volumes down. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I was only pumping in. Um, what? 100 and odd volts? Because it's only a half bridge, you see. You're in a, you, I mean, even though I'm putting 240 volts into it, you're only getting half of it, so about 110 volts I've put in it, because there's only up to about 80 on the Variac. 80% of 100%. But, uh, yeah. That's awesome. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Oh. I have to do some stills of that, I think. And put them on Google+. Plus. So any of you that are following me on Google+, Plus, keep your eyes open. Look after yourselves and be safe, whatever you're doing. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon, guys, with something new. Take care, guys.